Hello Sparkle Squad, this is Monica and today I'm just going to show you something pretty quick if you are into making your thumbnails for your YouTube channel or any need that you have to make some sort of graphics for social media, if you have some customers that you are making certain things for, maybe you just want to utilize a free tool, maybe you want to upgrade to a paid tool, I'm going to show you how to outline text today. This is something that is actually it's still not as obvious to do within Canva's platform, but I'm going to show you something really cool that can do exactly what you need so that you don't have to purchase a program like Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator if you don't want to. I've got my outline text thumbnail here within Canva.com. This is what my dashboard view looks like within the actual file itself. When you visit Canva, it's going to look something like this. Now I'm within my Canva creative functionality here. If I were to switch over to my personal, it probably would look pretty similar. But the functionality of it's going to be the same. You've got several different types of alternatives for you for social media. You can create flyers, posters, cards, all different sorts of things here. I use it all the time for my Instagram and my YouTube thumbnails. Be sure to check out my affiliate link down in the description below if you're interested in that. And you will be able to get, I believe it's a 45 day if you use the Canva affiliate link that I have to test it for free for 45 days rather than the standard 30 day trial if you're brand new to Canva and then you can choose either to continue the free platform or to upgrade I love to be able to get into another alternative rather than always having to go into Photoshop or using some other graphics program so this is pretty cool for me and I keep getting better all the time with their different functionalities a lot of cool things and animations are one of them I really love to do because it makes your your graphics just be a little bit more snazzy and you can save in a variety of formats like an mp4 a gif a ping but this is the home dashboard you can do a YouTube thumbnail which you can see all the different templates that they have for different categories over here to the left. So what I want to show you today is how I actually put the outline on my text like you see over here. I have one pulled up for a particular thumbnail that I'm going to be doing here in just a little bit. These are my graphics that I have in a printable form if you're interested in making this project yourself and stapling it to any kind of bars. It's an awesome gift to do for your coworkers or whoever you might want to thank them for being kind. I will have that linked also below in my description. Thumbnail looks kind of bland because there's no outline here. It's really cute. You can add all kinds of different graphics and stuff. But here is the actual project itself. This is where I have the digital file for sale at my website if you're interested in doing that. It is $250 for the sheet. It's a full page sheet and they're 3 inches by 2 inches. You can download this, print it out, cut it, and attach to whatever it is that you like. I did the kind bars. If you wanted to make any sort of outline using Photoshop, let me, I'm on the label itself. I take the, the text layer out that says kind. That's where I want to show you how I can do a really quick version of an outline. I want to right click, hit my blending options, go to stroke, <laughs> double click on it. The color is a really dark red right now. Let's go like yellow. I don't, the thickness of it is really thick so I'm going to do like a 10. You can put a stroke around that gives you an outline. You can change this to something smaller, but rather than having to use Photoshop and you know mess around with your, your outlining that way, you can go into Canva and very quickly be able to do the same thing. Now here's the text that I already typed in earlier. They don't have an outline feature up here in your text toolbar. They have different fonts and things and they do have some that are an outline type of font so one option is you could select outline type of font type in your text and then go in that same font but choose regular where it's not the outline anymore you're gonna have to duplicate whatever text that you've done and change the font to that regular font and then you're going to lay the two on top of each other so that then you have what appears to be an outline that is a little bit too much for me so I want to just go into my effects and you're gonna see right now we only have eight 
Now, you can do all kinds of different effects. You can see how it's giving a shadow, like a highlighted shadow here on that effect. Lift gives like a drop shadow, hollow, echo, glitch, neon. But what I want to use for the outline is called splice. Now when you see what comes up here, it's going to be like two-tone colors. You're going to see a nice bold outline here, and then you're going to see a different color, which is right here, for the inside. I want to be able to have this look normal, like on my other screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the controls, and for the offset, that's where we want to control how far the inner color moves around. So if I want a true outline, I'm going to go all the way to zero and all the color is then going to be within the confines of that outline color. To adjust your thickness of the outline, then you just start moving your little toolbar and then it gives you a different kind of thickness. Woo, that's really a lot. So I kind of like it right here on 37. The direction, if I had left my offset to where the text is kind of offset, then the direction button just simply moves what's inside just around to whatever direction that you want it to be. I'm going to go back to zero on my offset. I've got an outline here and that's as simple as that. Now if I want to change the color on the inside, I would just click what's going on on the inside there. If I actually want to change the outline color, I'm going back up here to my text color because the way that Canva's effects are set up right now, the text color is what dictates the outline. So wherever you're typing and you choose the effects and you choose splice, the color it's showing is just the inside color, but the outline is the main text that it's looking at to control. So you'd hit the text color and let's say we want to do black. Now we've hit the primary palette as this kind of a charcoal black, but we've done that here in the main control panel of the text without having to go back into effects. If I went back into effects and I hit the splice, then I can change my inside color again to what we've got colors down here, or we can hit the new color wheel and pick whatever we want. Pick that, that color, whatever that color is, kind of purpley pink. So that is how you very quickly make an outline using Canva. Very back over here to my thumbnail. One thing I wanted to show you, I'm all finished here on this thumbnail, right? So now I can save it a variety of different ways. I can do it, since I've got some movement here, I can save it as a video, an mp4, I can save it as a gif, and that would be awesome for any kind of social media or as I'm using it as a slide within the video itself at the very beginning, but it still has some movement. I can also save it as a JPEG and a PNG so I can have it without movement. That means that these two little things right here will just freeze however it saves and then there's no movement there. So you can download this to your PC, be able to use it. You can also use the Canva app. If you have your iPhone or an Android, you will, again, if you click my affiliate link below down in the description, you'll be able to get the free trial for Canva and you can either use the app or like I'm doing here, the desktop version. I go back and forth between the two. Some of the time when I, I do something on the app, it does not necessarily save so that I see it here on my desktop and vice versa. Sometimes it does. You know, it's just kind of glitchy that way, but either way, no matter what I need it for, when I need it, and how I need to access it, this has been a great service for me, and I highly recommend it to you guys. So please visit my website at sparklebymonica.com. I have my products listed, and I also have a blog that's got a bunch of cool information. And our Handmade Crafty Creators website is have a blog there. I do have a Facebook group for those of you who are crafty, and you like to support your fellow YouTube creators. So finally, my Etsy shop where I have most of my downloads for digital. I always keep those uploaded there more frequently here at my Sparkly Mon Downloads Etsy shop than I do on my website, sadly, because <laughs> it's just easier that way and I get higher traffic on my Etsy. If you are interested in that file, you can purchase it either at my Etsy shop, I have it linked right here, or you can visit my website. My website, of course, does not 
include the Etsy fee, so I would really appreciate it if you could purchase directly from my sparklebymonica.com page. Again, if you have any questions for me, just leave them below in the comments, and I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. Sparklerific day, guys! Bye!